As Mother's Day approaches, a baby boom on Capitol Hill. Let's bring in our senior congressional correspondent, Dana Bash. Uh, lots going on up on the Hill. That's right. You know, since Mother's Day last year, two babies have been born to female lawmakers. And I want to show you on the wall. Uh, one is Kirsten Gillibrand. She is now a senator, but she had her baby when she was in the House of Representatives. And the other is Stephanie Herseth Sandlin. And get this, this really might surprise you. Uh, Kirsten Gillibrand, she was only the sixth, the sixth person in the history of the United States to give birth while serving in office. And her said Sandlin, she was only the seventh. It is a very small but growing club of new moms in Congress. Come on, I'll take your brother to school. At 8.30 a.m., Kirsten Gillibrand looks like any other working mom in a minivan, dropping off her baby at daycare, another at school. But one hour later... She's gaveling the Senate into session. Senator Gillibrand is part of a different kind of change in Washington, a baby boom among female lawmakers. Son Henry is 11 months old. I think it makes me and the other women who have had kids better legislators because we really understand some of the struggles that other moms and other families face every day. Congresswoman Stephanie Herseth Sandlin had baby Zachary just five months ago. She's on the waiting list for congressional daycare, so he's usually with a nanny or family. Like Gillibrand, she juggles legislating with breastfeeding. We try to carve out that 20 minutes or so that I need, but all of a sudden we will have had a series of votes. I've got constituents waiting. Uh, sometimes I take my black bag, you know, with my breast pump over to the Capitol. There's the ladies' reading room. Smile, hum. It's a relatively new dynamic for women in politics. Most used to take Speaker Nancy Pelosi's path, have kids, then run for office. Not anymore. There's a lot more interest in younger women beginning to look at public service earlier. And when we look at public service earlier, it means we have children while we're serving. It's good for the Congress. It's our approach to policies that were important to us before but become even more important, whether it's early childhood development and how you fund it, child care, quality child care. Both women admit it's easier for them to balance babies and work than most moms since they're the boss. The one difference I might have is I might have to go back for votes or I might have votes, you know, during a, a, a drop-off time or pick-up time usually. Those are unique challenges, but luckily... I have to have a lot of, you know, support, a great support network. A growing network of new moms serving in Congress. In fact, Congresswoman Linda Sanchez of California is pregnant and due later this month. She is set to be just the eighth member of Congress in U.S. history to give birth while in office. Her experience has been slightly different in, than others in that uh, when she first got pregnant, she and her long-term boyfriend were not married. But, Wolf, they are now married. They got married just last month. Congratulations to them and congratulations to all the mothers out there. And a happy Mother's Day uh, coming up on Sunday to all the mothers out there. Say Absolutely. happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. That's good. Your mother will be happy. <laughs> she will. Happy Mother's Day uh, to everyone.